doing everybody and thanks for watching. I'm Chris from Terrestrial Imaging and today I'm going to introduce you guys to Terrestrial Imaging's antenna mod for the Typhoon H. So for starters, these are what the external antenna are going to look like. And on my left, I have a drone over here with yellow motor covers, just for distinction. And we took the camera off just so you guys can better see the antennas that we've already modded out on this drone. Just lift it up and give you guys a better look. And now over here to my right with the blue antenna uh, with the blue motor covers, this is the drone that we're going to be working with today throughout the duration of this video and show you guys how to go ahead and mod it out with these antennas. We'll be taking apart, uh, taking it apart, showing you what you need, and showing you how to attach the antennas. Now, for starters, when you get this antenna kit from us, you have two different options. You can get one without metric screwdrivers or hex keys, or you can get one with it. Now, this set of screwdrivers, if you don't already have them, is something that you're going to need because the, all the screws on this drone are all hex keys. So you definitely need those to open it up. Now, if you buy the kit with or without the hex key screwdrivers, you're going to get two antenna. You're going to get antenna wires. And you're going to get some shrink wrap. Now, all these pieces and parts will be ex uh, explained in greater detail throughout the duration of this video. But for starters, we're going to go ahead and open up the Typhoon H and show you guys how to access the inside. All right, so what we did first was we took the foam packing that comes inside the color box and we set it upside down on the table to use as a mat. From there, we now take the drone and put it upside down on, the, on our mat so that way we don't scratch it on the table. Start by taking out the battery, and then from there you're going to want to go ahead, unscrew the screws that are on the retract module, the lamp shade, on the gimbal connection board, and all around the drone. Now for the sake of time, we've already unscrewed most of the screws that are on this, but we're going to take a couple out right now. Fast forward and come back to you guys in just a sec. Alright, so now that we've taken off all the screws, the landing gear, and the gimbal connection board, as well as the lampshade, we can now go ahead, lift up the drone, and disconnect the top half from the bottom half by pinching the sides and breaking the locks. Alright, so now that we have the top shell completely disconnected from the bottom shell and set aside, we now want to go ahead and locate the antenna receiver. The antenna receiver is that silver looking board that you see right over here covered in shrink wrap. Now from there we want to unplug the receiver, but first we have to unscrew the board that we're pointing to right over here. The receiver is plugged in underneath that, so we have to remove it in order to access it. All right, so now that we have the antenna receiver removed and we've removed the factory wires, we're now going to go ahead and clip on the wires that came with your kit. So now that we have our antenna receiver completely set with the new wires and shrink wrap, we can now go ahead and use our double adhesive tape to replace the receiver onto the Typhoon H drum. Alright guys, so now that we have the antenna receiver reattached and we have the wires properly placed, we now want to go ahead and look at the bottom shell for the drone. You'll see on the bottom shell that there's two hashed out circles towards the back of the drone behind the retract module spot. Those are the two circles that we're going to want to drill out and make available so that way we can thread our wire through it and then attach the antenna. So one thing that I want to point out is that we don't want to use any wood tips for our drills. We want to use a tip that will gently go through the plastic without cracking it. Alright guys, so now that we have our holes drilled, we want to go ahead and take the nuts and washers off the connectors for the antenna 
And then we want to go ahead, and in our instance, we use a little bit of epoxy and we put it on the inside of the holes. That way we get a nice solid connection and we don't have to worry about anything, you know, getting loose. So now from here, we're going to reattach the bottom. We're going to thread through the connectors. We're going to reattach the top, put back on the landing gear, the lampshade, the gimbal connection board. We're going to screw everything back together, put back on the camera and have our drone completely reassembled. And then lastly, we can screw in those antennas and we'll be all set. Alright guys, so now that we didn't really go into too much detail about everything, but just to recap, you know, unscrew everything, take the drone apart, be careful when you take apart the different shells because you might go ahead and crack it, so be real gentle when you do that. And then another thing I want to point out is that I did mention a drill bit or a drill tip. Um, when you're drilling those holes, make sure you're not using a wood tip because that really digs into the plastic and can crack it and you don't want to go ahead and do that. But for those of you who are handy and feel comfortable doing this stuff, you should be fine. But if you don't feel like you have the skills, time, or even desire to do this yourself, we can always go ahead and do this for you. So you can go ahead and look us up on TerrestrialImaging.com, give us a call, shout out, or email. Let us know if you'd like us to do this for you or if you're interested in the kit. We can always answer any questions that you might have or we can go ahead and do it for you. So now, if you guys have been a customer for us in the past, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. And if you guys aren't a customer yet, we look forward to your business in the future. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them below. And thanks for watching, guys.